I'm reporting live from the thorn. It is the East Side Princess. Um, I am greasy as a motherfucker because I have cocoa butter on my face, but um, I just decided to start a new um, episode. This will be called Jenny Jen and um, Jen. So stay tuned and stay fly. Bye. I told this nigga I was bipolar. Like, you don't fucking know me. Don't you ever put your fucking hands on me. I'm going to extort your motherfucking stupid ass. Go back to Miami, dummy, because we don't do it like that in these streets. This is Southern California, and um, I'm Jenny motherfucking Jen. You're a fucking loser. Every fucking week, stupid. My money now. Good morning, everybody. I am your host, Jenny motherfucking Jen. You are now tuned in to Jenny Jen and Jen. Um, today's ingredients include two gin shots, hello, um, cranberry juice, and one half a line that's fucked up on the other side. Here she is. Um, today's first live broadcast is brought to you by no other than um, my favorite sucker, Marco Escobar. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up a slice of pizza. You guys go ahead and get your favorite snacks. This is gonna be a good episode. I'll be right back, bye. Yes, welcome back to Jenny, Jen, and Jen. Um, today's guests are no other than Jetta and Cole begging for some uh, pizza. Check this out, y'all. Why I burnt the fucking pizza, went outside to smoke a cigarette. Anyway, um, just so you guys know, I am a serial extortionist, okay? And this nigga got me fucked all the way up. All the way motherfucking up. I'll be back. I don't give a fuck. I'm still eating this pizza. I'm still eating this motherfucking. Anyway. So I get invited to the Best Western Plus last night to kick it in the jacuzzi for a wrap. This nigga, who I don't even fucking know, I just met him one time and went there to get some change one night, and um, we exchanged Snapchats, right? This nigga think he fucking knows me. So I get into my bikini, right? He's still on the clock, mind you. I get in my bikini. He comes back up. Grease me with a hug. Okay, nigga, I'll give your fucking ass a hug. I guess I'm in this motherfucker. This nigga thought it was a good idea to caress my thigh, go down and kiss my ass cheek. Nigga, who the fuck are you? Do I got a sign that say touch and kiss me, nigga? No, I don't. Give me some money now. So did y'all peep the motherfucking receipts? I was there. And I was by myself. You know, and I was wishing that my bitches were there. Where was my Charmella love? I don't know. Anyways, moving forward. That nigga owe me some money now. I told that nigga, don't put your fucking hands on me. I gave that nigga a fucking pass, right? That's all chill for a little bit. I drank some beer. And then he went back down to work and I fucking bounced. Met him downstairs, got my bike. This nigga thought it was another good idea to caress my arms and get all up in my motherfucking face in my personal area and shit. That's when I popped the fuck off. I didn't take my medication last night. The nigga thought I was lying about this bipolar shit. No, nigga. I'm taking medication for a fucking reason. Because I be going hard as a motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. Now you're going to have to fucking pay. Nigga, either you're going to pay me every fucking week, $100. That's not even a lot of money. Because I asked him to give me $100 and the nigga had a dub on him. Then I went back up there to, to get 40 from the nigga. He only had 51 in his bank account. And I recorded the conversation. FYI. It's like this. Either you're going to give me my fucking money. Or I'm going to file a lawsuit. Or you're going to lose your fucking job because I'm going to go to HR. Or I'm going to have a nigga beat your motherfucking ass. Period. And that um, that's going to conclude today's first live episode of Jenny Chen and Jen. Stay tuned, y'all. Let the games begin.